Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review Found. Marty loved horror movies until his life turned into one. Based on the novel by Todd Rigney, directed by Scott Shermer, starring Gavin Brown and Ethan Philbeck, Found is about Marty, a young boy who finds out that his older brother Steve is a serial killer. He cuts people's heads off and puts them in a bowling bag in his room. Marty's being bullied in school, so he goes to Steve for advice to help him with his problems. This was actually a recommendation from one of our patrons over on Patreon who won our monthly movie raffle, Mitch Reeves. He's a huge supporter of us, uh, not only here, but also on my Twitch account, if you are not following that, links are in the description. Killsbury Pwn Boy, playing games. Mitch recommended this, and so I bought this, and we picked up Headless as well, which we will be doing a review of. But yes, let's continue with the found review for now. So what do we like? I really liked the stylistic choice that this movie went with. It was a narrative. You're sitting there watching Marty kind of narrate this whole story as if it's a voiceover, and then seeing it actually happen. When I opened the bag at the bowling alley, I almost cried. I didn't tell anyone about it, and I used David's ball instead. It's a neat way to go about like a serial killer movie. You have a young boy who's vulnerable, he's being bullied, and he knows his brother's a serial killer. And it's him kind of worrying about him knowing that he's a serial killer, but also he's dealing with his other issues with not only his family, but um, bullies at school. So you're also left thinking, is Marty going to go down the same direction as his older brother? He watches a lot of horror movies, he writes horror comics. Like there's a lot of things that influence him and you're trying to figure out, are they going to influence him enough to push him over the edge and take it to the next level? Which brings us to Steve, who was played by Ethan Philbeck, and I really liked his character because he came off with a range of emotions. He was this guy who, anytime he came on the screen, he had a presence to him. I think the one presence I love the most, and it just came across in all his line deliveries, he just reminds me of Jeff Winger from Community when he just walks into a room and everyone stops what they're doing and he demands their attention. For an indie film, this was shot pretty well because this was actually done on an $8,000 budget, which is bananas for a feature film. And so you have to commend the team over at Forbidden Films. It was interesting to see how Marty's character developed and progressed near the end of the film because you feel for this character from the start right to the finish, you can't help but like want to side with Marty. So what didn't we like? Unfortunately, I wasn't a fan of Marty. I think children actors, and you've heard me say it a thousand times, even with the best child actors, I just don't believe them ever. Now I don't want to take it out on Gavin here. I'm sure he did a commendable job in certain aspects, but I didn't believe him at all. Um, and it's tough when a movie solely relies on a child actor to carry the entire narrative. And if you aren't fully invested and there's like slip ups here and there, then you, everything's gone. And for me, unfortunately, it was like that. It's like David and Marcus and all the other dickheads in this movie that just wanted to pick on Marty. They weren't the best actors, but they were complete assholes anyway. Like character wise, I don't think you, like the actors are assholes, but <laughs> who knows? <laughs> this isn't necessarily a dislike, but I felt that the short films that we saw within the movie, Deep Dweller and Headless, it wasn't exactly to the tone of what the whole movie was about. And because this is a slower paced film and the focus isn't necessarily on the gore, to throw that homage in there to a slasher style of film, it's like night and day. And considering that some people may be expecting graphic violence as to Steve killing people and seeing Steve kill people, to me, that's not what this film was really about and it wasn't what it was trying to showcase. So to just throw it in there, it definitely felt out of place. It's not that I didn't like it, it's just it felt out of place for the style of the story. Yeah, well I liked them, I agree. I think one of the things that I didn't like about this is it, it dragged on a little bit too long. If they excluded the shorts and trimmed some of the segments down, like we could have taken about 20 minutes out of this movie and it would have flowed a little bit better, I think. Now it's time for our final thoughts and ratings. I think Found is a great film. It's a very unique story when it comes to talking about a serial killer because you're seeing it from a different perspective. You're seeing it from somebody 
in the family that's related to a serial killer, and it's more about how they deal with being related to somebody that's a serial killer. I think the character development was excellent. Unfortunately, I wasn't too invested in the primary character because I didn't think his acting was great, but I think most everything surrounding this was pretty good for an indie flick. It could have been trimmed up, of course, because it was a little bit longer, but all in all, I think I would recommend it. So I'm gonna give this three and a half The Taint posters out of five. Found was a unique film because it's an indie horror that had a very strong narrative that didn't necessarily focus on the gore. I liked the way that this story developed and I enjoyed all the characters. Yes, it was a little longer than what it could have been, but with that being said, there were scenes, in particular two shorts, that didn't necessarily need to be in this film. I really did enjoy Ethan Philbeck's character as Steve. I thought he was probably the strongest actor in this film and did an amazing job. And I think that if they ever decide to do a spinoff that's just him as a serial killer, I think that would be an awesome film because we never got to see his perspective in this movie, so it would be an interesting take to see him in action. But overall, I really enjoyed this film and I think you guys should check it out as well. So with that being said, I'm gonna give this film four bloodbaths out of five. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below with your thoughts on the film if you've seen it. If you haven't, there are links in the description where you can find it. And if you want the opportunity to recommend a movie for us to review, check out the Patreon links in the description. Also, cop a cool shirt. And if it's your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, stay updated with everything, bloodbath and beyond.